Flash photolysis is a method for investigating the kinetics of very fast reactions, such as the reaction between hydroxyl radicals and SO2 molecules, which is an important reaction in the atmosphere. This reaction takes place in the laboratory on a microsecond timescale. Figure 9.15 shows the stages in a flash photolysis experiment to find a value of the rate constant for this reaction. The reaction is an elementary second order reaction, so the rate of reaction equals K times the concentration of hydroxyl radicals times the concentration of SO2, where K is the second order rate constant but the experimental conditions are arranged so that the concentration of hydroxyl radicals is very much less than the concentration of SO2. This means that the SO2 is in huge excess and its concentration is effectively constant during the reaction and is equal to its initial value. Under these conditions, the reaction shows pseudo first order kinetics and the rate of reaction equals K prime times the concentration of hydroxyl radicals where K prime equals K, the second order rate constant, times the initial concentration of SO2. The reaction cell in the flash photolysis apparatus initially contains a mixture of hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, and SO2. A short pulse of light from a laser photolyzes some of the H2O2 molecules to give hydroxyl radicals which then react rapidly with the SO2 molecules. The concentration of the hydroxyl radicals is measured spectroscopically a set time after the flash. In stage one, a series of experiments is carried out, each with the same initial concentration of the hydroxyl radicals and the same initial concentration of SO2. Each experiment measures the hydroxyl radical concentration at a different time after the start of the reaction. Graph 1 shows the results from this series of experiments. The measured hydroxyl radical concentrations, one from each experiment, are plotted against the reaction time T, the time from the flash at the start of the reaction. Here is the flash at the start concentration hydroxyl radicals rises very steeply and then falls away as the radicals react. Step 2 makes use of the integrated rate equation for a pseudo first order reaction. A value of log of the hydroxyl radical concentration is worked out for each of the experimental points in graph 1 and these values are plotted against T, the reaction time, as shown in graph 2. This gives a straight line of gradient minus K prime. So the gradient is minus K prime, where K prime is the pseudo first order rate constant. We now have a value of K prime for a single value of the initial concentration of SO2. In stage 3, the whole process in stages 1 and 2 is repeated several times for different initial values of the concentration of SO2. Remember, K prime equals K times the initial concentration of SO2. So a graph of K prime against the initial concentration of SO2 in graph 3 is a straight line with the gradient K, the second order rate constant for the reaction.